If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. Anyhow, was there something else you wish to talk about? I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young Master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Ingrisilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Nitho chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Nitho is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <sighs> Well, good luck out there. Sure, I'm open. Need something special? When you are.
perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the dark elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, light elves came back. We seemed better in Alfheim. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alpha hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. A living desert. Huh. I'll meet you on the other side. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can.
Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. By frost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting on your chest. We'll be right along. My dad likes Luke. Ah. Very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. that. Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of the audience. Well, Thor.
Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. <clears throat> Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. We don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Is that a bomb? We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. Watch your legs! Watch your They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Yeah. Not like you're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. Yeah. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, <laughs> old friend. Yeah. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> So tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. 
So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh, it's the light. Oh. 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 Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased.
Speaking of light elves, let me try talking to them again. They Best may just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Follow me, friends. For us, doing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in high stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. This way, Kratos. 
Yeah, he knows. We just like to be thorough. I see. By all means. Where's this lead?
Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. There's gotta be a better angle on that Twilight Stone. Perhaps a higher vantage point is needed. Mumia, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. It's all in what you bring to it. Ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. <gasps> oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear, get back.
Fighting. Dark elves want the souls in the light left alone. But the light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? I'm not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. I made a lot of these light doors. <laughs> Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Looks interesting. I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Oh! 
Yeah.